Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, October 15th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single night at 5. Uh, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon to know when I'm going live or to catch me live. Sometimes I go live a little bit early, so uh, we usually just sit there and talk about random stuff. But let's see what's going on for you this week. Yeah, it looks like a busy week. Uh, Nine of Clubs coming up first. Card of experimentation, I feel, for you. I feel like a lot of you could be experimenting. Um, and what I mean by that is just like trying new things out in your life or, uh, you know, trying different directions out in your life. Or, again, some of you could be like going back to school or you could be changing your looks or you could be changing your preferences on like one of a billion different things. So, um, yeah, if, you know, to me, this is just a good card for doing that. It's just a card that says, like, go with the flow. Um, you know, allow those changes to come. If you feel like making a change, make the change. If you don't like it, you know, go back and or do something different. It's kind of a card that just, like, allows you to experiment. It says, you know, experiment with your life. Try different things. It is also a card of being pushed in a direction. So it is a card of, like, fate kind of guiding you along. Next, Seven of Clubs, uh, Escaping from Prison. I feel like, you know, you get this card a lot, Cancer. Um, even in the daily readings, this comes up for Cancer quite a bit, I think. So um, I feel like a lot of you are just, like, removing yourself from limiting situations. I also feel like for some of you, this could be a, a heartache, like a breakup that you've gone through. And again, I feel like you are getting over that. Uh, once you get over it, you end with the King of Diamonds. So I feel like there is a soulmate-type energy coming in for you at this time, and I do feel like that will be good for you. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. So pay attention to the details. Again, this comes up a lot for water signs. I would say if you're signing anything new, like any contracts, anything anything like that, this card says make sure to read it like 10 times. Make sure to have your friend read it 10 times or your mother, your father, whoever uh, is good at doing that sort of stuff. Um, make sure to have, you know, kind of follow up with people because this card can represent, you know, it's a good card. It can say that there's a lot of money coming in, in the future, but it also says don't make a mistake. Don't allow there to be some sort of little mistake on a paper that you missed and then, you know, it causes a bunch of problems. So pay attention to the details. It's also a great card for having a plan B in any situation I'm getting for you. So again, I would say have, have a backup plan for anything that you're trying to do at this time. It can also just say, again, that there is another way. Again, maybe you're stuck in a situation. Um, I feel like for some of you, maybe you got out of a relationship and you're feeling like, you know, I'm never going to find anybody again. So if you're one of those people, this card says, hey, there's another path. There's somebody new. There's somebody different coming in for you. Uh, same thing with any other situation. Again, I feel like there are other ways to do what you want to do. You just have to find them. Uh, next, Ace of Spades, existing problems being resolved. So like I said, I feel like there are improvements coming in for you. And I feel like a lot of your problems at this time are going to be very easily uh, changed as well. So I like that. And it's also a great card of a new relationship. There does seem to be a focus on love right now, even with the Venus retrograde. So, you know, who knows? Maybe it's a good time for love. You know, maybe there it's a good time for uh, different things uh, coming into our lives. So that's what I would say here. Uh, it, it and it can represent just the start as well. That's what people don't realize. I always I keep saying this to people. I'm like, retrograde or not, it doesn't mean that you can't like be start off as friends right now because of the retrograde, and then it changes after the retrograde and becomes something deeper. So you know, just go with the flow. Next, you have the Joker. So I feel like you're go going to be very busy at this time. And, uh, yeah, I feel like you've been preparing for something as well. Um, I, I wanted to pull that clarifier there. I feel like you've been preparing for something for a long time. And I feel like this card is saying, it's like, okay, now, now is your time to start. So, again, if you've been, like, thinking about starting a business, a relationship, whatever, I feel like this card is saying, take the risk. You know, step off on the new new path. This card here is kind of like the joker. I mean, kind of like the fool. And it says, like, you know, you have been preparing. Now is the time for you to get started on your new journey. Now is the time for you to, you know, kind of step off on that path. Next, you have the Eight of Spades. So I feel like some of you have been, again, in an extended period of recovery. Um, this could be from health problems, health difficulties, or, again, maybe you just feel like you need extra rest. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm a Pisces, as most of you know, and I've been sleeping like crazy. So, you know, I definitely need the sleep. Actually, it, it's weird because I haven't been sleeping very well. Um, well, I've been sleeping at night, but it's like I've been like sleeping on this really weird schedule. I go to bed at like nine and I wake up at like five o'clock in the morning. It's been, you know, crazy. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of water signs have been, you know, kind of going through these weird like sleep cycles and things like that. I feel like this card is saying like, take time to rest, take time uh, to do the things that you want to do and uh, make, make sure to take time for yourself. You know, make sure to take time for that recovery is what I would say for you. And finally, you have the King of Diamonds. Again, I feel like this could be love for a lot of you. I'm actually going to pull, um, I want to pull an extra clarifier in this card as well. I feel like it could be love. Again, this is my card of the soulmate right here, uh, the King of Diamonds. And it, um, you know, could be an earth sign, but this card is called the fish, and it can represent love. 
like coming in through a water sign as well. So I feel like there could be both choices for you. I feel like both of these cards could represent money as well. Great money improvements. A uh, Five of Clubs is a card of a millionaire. It doesn't mean you will be a millionaire, but it does represent that there is, you know, great financial opportunity for you. We will put it that way to come in. I also feel like both of these cards are saying that, like, I feel like if you feel like you need money for something, I feel like this card is saying, like, hey, the money is there through somebody. You just either have to ask somebody, you have to go find it, or you have to go make it. Um, so again, if you're hoping for resources, I feel like they're there. This card would also say, if you're looking for love, socialize, of course. You know, that constantly comes up for water. So make sure to get out there and try to meet new people. Uh, but it looks like a good week for you. Take that risk. But it looks good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.